One Belgian most tri-staters would know. He opened the popular restaurant chain, Taste of Belgium. Our Tony Morone has caught up with him today to find out how his family and his friends are faring back home. And we think you will be interested in how he copes with terror. The Taste of Belgium in Over the Rhine. It's the first of a chain of restaurants opened by Belgian native Jean-Francois Fletchet. He's been monitoring what's happening back home all day while trying to work at the same time. It's really, I mean, it's just really sad. It's upsetting. It's not something you, you expect to happen in a, in a place like Brussels. His family and friends are safe, but his parents have concerns. My parents are a little shaken because it was supposed to be in Brussels tomorrow morning. So with a 24-hour difference, there would have been very different situations. So they're very fortunate that it didn't happen to them. While keeping up with the news for the manhunt of the terrorists, he's reading the editorial cartoons. He says it's a way Belgians cope with a bit of artistic humor. In, in Belgium, there is almost no topic that is too serious for not to make fun of or laugh about it. It's kind of, a, of an escape. So there has been a lot of caricatures online by different Belgian comics artists uh, caricaturing the suicide bombers and... Uh, basically caricaturing the reaction of Belgian people. And at the end of the day, uh, life goes on and um, uh, we will prevail and not them. Fletchett's love for his home country goes deep, deep enough that he encourages others to visit Brussels when they get a chance. Make sure that you go there and visit the city. Uh, don't listen to some of the naysayers in the media. It's a beautiful city. And on average, it's very safe. What happened today is an isolated incident, and it's, it's really, really sad. For now, Fletcher gets back to work and waits for justice. Tony Moronis, nine on your side, over the Rhine.